everybody and welcome back to The Sims. The Sims for Dragon Love. We're going to continue on with the story and like I said in this episode, if you didn't watch the last episode, a lot of stuff was going on and um, yeah, if you want to go check that out, go watch it. Basically, my son has turned into an adult. He is a police officer. I had all of the animals neutered except for the baby because he's still a baby. All these two girls are now neutered. Ignis is fine at the moment. I'll just press play and this girl got a makeover. I don't know if these two are ever going to get married or not, but we'll eventually find out. Eventually find out, you know? Actually, no, that was ridiculous request um bitch oh they're playing together so cute so dumb okay yes these need to be de-weeded and somebody needs to do it so maybe I'll ask so yeah Last episode I made Ignis a warlock, as you can see. And the only way to level up a warlock from what I've clean out, spoiled, practice spells. Practice, need to practice. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty up. She's doing the gardening. So yeah, I moved the coffin upstairs along with the potion brewer where he can cook stuff as well and then there's this thing that I don't know what the fuck to do with oh it's it's just a camera stand but we don't have a camera well that's awkward <laughs> so I may just get rid of that if the game loads there we go So yeah, this is going to be the upstairs where shit goes. And yeah, this is where we're living now, the new house. We will have to go visit the other house to see how things are going and everything, it's just... Yeah. But he can have a familiar, like in the... Oh, the cone's obstructing it. See, so already a familiar. Also, it will be good because in this in this neighborhood there is no such thing as winter. It's a the only closest thing you'll get to winter here is fucking rain, which is basically which is basically Australia, so it's fine. As you can see, his level's going up. And he has a spell book, and these are the four different... That's like potion making, and then there's like the three different elements he needs to practice. I'm actually very excited for this first page. All of this stuff is awesome. For the potions, you just have to go upstairs and he has to experiment with potion making. It's pretty normal. Pretty normal for a wizard. I'm thinking about just... Yeah, I'm thinking about it. And the son is back from school. Needs to have a shower, clearly. Get your butt in the shower. Get your butt. Oh, we don't have a bathroom downstairs, so use your own little private one. Get your butt in.
I don't want to get Mary sick. What the hell? Empty it. Discovered a new spell. It's fine. Do you have more dirty clothes on you? No. Awful school day. Dropped a... What? Dropped a tray in front of everyone in the cafeteria today. How embarrassing. It's loud, but it's not really that embarrassing. Always happy mum time. Yeah. Why is there Chris? Yeah, let's remove the Christmas decorations because those have been sitting around for a while. Take down decorations. Freeze over. Um, look like, uh, we can decorate our house anywhere we wish. I wish to decorate it. Ladies, go inside, man. Jesus, oh, my God, go in. Why? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And now there's a party around our house. What the fuck? Invite neighbors. Just invite them in. Just tolerate their existence for one day. Put the pancakes down. Go tolerate their existence. Get up off your feet and go ex tolerate their existence. Uh, what? I don't see any... Oh, it's just the top of our house. That's okay. And, Ignis, we need to fix up your cooking skill if you're going to keep cooking. Okay, you're on level 8. The neighbours are being weird. Go say hi. Hi, be friendly. Tolerate the neighbours for like one fucking day, I said. Tolerate them. Oh, shit. I'm worried that she may have a concussion, but she needs to sleep. Sleep, woman. Go sleep. 
I will watch your husband. He'll be fine. He's just making friends. Are you a woman or a man? I don't judge, but damn, you got some muscle tone. Say hello, don't be rude. This is like the strongest woman in the fucking universe I've ever seen. Damn, her legs are fucking built. Look at him. They're like sausages. Oh, please tell me you're doing your homework. Yes, get food in you. Oh, probably bad time that they came over because everyone's going to bed. How are the kitties? How are the babies? Oh! Having a turf war while Maui just sleeps 10 feet away. I do remember that now I'm actually, my brain's actually working. Sorry guys. Yeah, it's Ignis's birthday any moment now, so we've got to get rid of the fucking neighbours at some point to organise a birthday party. Can you stop? Lady, I know you're swole as shit, but can you please stop this? Lady! There's something wrong with this woman. i will go have a birthday party and I'm gonna go quit job. No, I don't want to quit job. Uh, plan event. Where's the plan event thing? Oh, plan event thing's turned off because this is going on. The neighbours are around here like to cook, so when they hear you haven't had a Oh, that's nice. So randomly they'll come over to check up on us. Oh, that's nice. We have friends coming around. Oh dear God, don't eat that. Oh dear God. Who brought this around? It's disgusting. I, I will fix this, mademoiselle. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, talk to... I think it's funny how it says introduce yourself when really they've been talking this entire fucking time. Thanks for coming. If that's your wife, then damn, sir, just damn! Or if they're gay, then, you know, you missed out. <laughs> Hey, bro. Have an interesting conversation while I do this. Yeah, it's God's job to do dishes, apparently.
Torben. Oh, Evite. Droba, droba, droba. Seek a neva. Okay, so I'll leave her to sleep a little while longer because it is like 10 o'clock at night. Magic zip, what? Oh, well, they're talking so. Try and cheer up. He's a bit sad. I don't know what's going on at his house. We need to go visit so many people. It's interesting how my son has so many friends. He's got his half brother. He's got he's got Pronto, who only comes around to really hang out with like Ignis, but Ignis is always fucking way too busy, so he ends up hanging out with my son. It's cool. It's fucking awesome. Have a deep conversation. What did you go through, sir? What is it like being not human? Is that truly true? Pronto is not really technically human. Well, when a vampire's gotta eat, a vampire's gotta eat, you know what I mean? I mean, he's right fucking there. Okay. Okay. You could stop now, son. You could stop. He's getting his, his his feet on. He's he's getting fed. Well, it's night time, so you know, typical same thing I have to do all the time. Look for people for him to feed the fuck on. Who's walking around at night like an idiot? Doesn't look like anyone. Smart. Very, very smart. Good. Better not be because I'm hunting you. This looks like pictures from Moana. Moana. I do know though that some of the outfits for the males is inspired by that. Does anyone actually live here? No. No one lives there. <laughs> no one lives by us. Don't stare creepily at your brother. Take to the hangar. Well, you've been fed and there's no one around, so... We live in a neighborhood where old people don't come around anymore. I'm definitely thinking that the last place we lived in was like right next door to a fucking old person's ha old person's house. Or 
or you know you could do one best thing I really don't want to see this. Let me pause this so he doesn't find out. I am going to have you make... Is there regular tacos in this or is it just fish taco? I want that. Yeah, you keep walking. Nothing's come. Nothing's going on just around the corner of the house. Brothers need brothers sometimes. After all, my son is a vampire. He's just going to be feeding on everyone that's human. And sometimes me, who is a moment. Oi. That's a good way to get pesky na people out of your house. Oh, that's what I should. Oh, that's what I should have done with the fucking neighbors. What are you making? <laughs> awesome. How's it going? Leveled up. Black ended bass. Is it blackened bass? Okay, so I don't think anybody's walking around in the streets at night because, well, that would be stupid. And people only do that in the cities. So when, um, I don't know, when these two are ready, they might end up moving back into the city or, you know, moving into a different, completely different neighbourhood and that might be another person I have to go visit. <laughs> Um, fuck no. Is a little known fact about me, guys. In re in real life, I would never chat here. What? <laughs> little known fact: I would never eat fish. I don't. I actually don't eat anything that comes out of an ocean. So, yeah. My boyfriend likes fish. Which is definitely something I'm going to have to deal with cooking at some point. But for now... My boyfriend has allergies, I think, to... Yeah, my boyfriend has allergies to egg and... And, um... What was the other thing called? Uh, I'm trying to eat. Tofu, no, tofu is disgusting. I've had it once. It's disgusting. I tried it for my diet. Didn't like it at all. Kill it with fire! Rather meat, thank you very much. I will have the... I will make fish tacos and my sim will eat fish tacos, but I will not eat them. He'll know. Plus, I don't think she's that well. I need, I need to give her some medicine before she goes to see her daughter. Because that's the plan today, is to go visit. 
go visit the daughter, buy a gift, this is the only way I know how to get it, if there's any other fucking way of getting it that's easier. I haven't found it. Okay, that camera is weight. That must be digital camera. Yeah, that must be the camera for the stand, but I'm not I'm not using that, no. I have the money for it. Maybe I should buy it. Yes, I'm coming to visit. I have something important that I need to ask you. Would you like to... I know what this is referring to, and no, I'm not okay with you having an affair at all. Oh. I will never be okay with my daughter. She may be my adopted daughter, but she is still my daughter, and I will never be okay with her having a fucking affair. If she's unhappy in her relationship, she just f should fucking get a divorce, honestly. That's the conversation I'm going to have with her today. Like, if you're unhappy in your relationship, then leave. Like, I... Me and Ignis, when we moved here, we gave you the lease to the house. We could have sold the house, but we gave you the fucking house for you and your kids. If you're unhappy with her, and you want to move on in your lives, then do it. I like, I like tacos, they're very nice, I love them. They're so good. Nom. Like, for instance, he's so happy with her that he wants to actually show his mother how... Ha he wants to show me, my character, how happy he is with his, I mean, his new girlfriend that he actually wants her to move in and live. I know that her, her twin sister lives nearby with her, wi her new wife and their two kids that they adopted which I'm very happy for them, but apparently from the sounds of things, my daughter is in a very bad relationship right now and I'm not very happy about it. So quickly eat up and maybe we can swim there. <laughs> That's the other thing, this neighborhood is good for my sim because you know what? Somebody else can do those chores. Somebody fucking else by the name of your son that needs to get back into his normal human form before someone at work finds out what the fuck he really is! God damn it! Hide dark form, will you? So... Research. How is my little ba my little man? Go into the bathroom, he's fine. Okay. Someone fill these fucking cats' balls. Oh. Okay, forgot about that, sorry. Go inside. Yes, go do it. Go inside. I'll, I'll get your future wife to do it. Spray for bugs and water. Alright. No. What else do I need to do with you so that you're ready? Okay. She's a mermaid, so I need to make sure she doesn't stink like a fish in front of her kid. Come on. Oh, he's off to work. I've got it. I've another. I've got another grandchild that I need to talk to about. Talk. To, need to go see as well because I haven't been able to see them. So 
swim around. Have some fun, swim around, and then we can go... I wanted to be on the green, because we're going to be there. We're going to be spending a lot of time. Okay. Now that we've spent a lot of time swimming, it's time to go visit my... To go visit some people. So we're going to be dealing with loading screens, unfortunately. And I do know Ignis's birthday is coming around. Maybe we should just... Oh fuck, I just realised his birthday. If we don't have a birthday party for him and he ages up, he'll be very upset. Ah, fuck. We'll kill two birds with one stone. Although, actually, no. Send alone. Okay, I need to organise a fucking birthday party for my husband before I can even go visit my children. God, this is this 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 is just as hectic as real life. <laughs> Except for I'm not a mermaid in real life because it would be fucking adorable. Go here. Oh, she, also she's sick and I don't want to give anybody anything. Like, fucking anything. <laughs> Take the medicine. There you go. No more illness. Hopefully. Successfully combated her cold. Good. That's good. That's great. Okay, let's deal with the whole planning event. I need toddler's play date night. Maybe one day in the future, you know, with some somebody else's birthday sim. No. Two guests, um, of course his family, Ignis is always around, made f oh fucking hell, we made friends with a lot of people, Lightning I'm not really friends with, maybe we could try and patch things up. Then again, it's not really about, it's not really Lightning's birthday, is it? Alright, let's have it at... Is there actually, can I actually see it? Are you actually able to have a birthday party there? I'm looking for mixed sims right now. I'm actually wondering if you are allowed to have a birthday party there or not. Or if they've just made it official that... There it is. A restaurant, mixed sims. <laughs> We're going to have his birthday party at the mixed sims. So everybody's happy. And everybody's fine. Are we having it now? <laughs> uh, nobody's going. Everybody's going. Either they have to. The party's gonna go on fucking forever until everybody gets home. We didn't hire a caterer, so that, but that's fine. That's fucking fine, isn't it? Can you order a birthday cake at a restaurant? You should be able to, right? 
buy seeds by plant selecting a plant box begin gardening yeah yeah I already know how to do that thank you it's good reminders I used to get annoyed with them but whatever You know what would be really interesting, um, this is for the sim creators, if you're watching, I don't know why you would, but if you're watching, the loading screens are a bit of a problem, so maybe updating them with like a, a, a you know, like in The Sims 3, you had the uh, finding puzzle thing going on, you know, just to pass the fucking time. Like, if you need the... Like, if, I understand. If you need the loading screens, I understand. It's just, you know. Everybody get the fuck in there. Everybody get inside. Go. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the people who work here have that. <laughs> Everybody go inside. I am not cleaning up. This is not my restaurant. Uh, oh. Hey, hang on, hang on. Take a personal day. Take a personal day. Request a table for uh, literally dozens of people. Ah, oh, Nathan's here! Yes! For some reason I couldn't invite him, but he's here. Hi. We have a very large group of people. Can we have a large table? I know it's a fast food place, but now it's apparently very... <laughs> Maccas have gotten very swanky! <laughs> Okay, so we got a table. Ignis is the head of the household, so he'll sit here. What? Ignis cannot sit at this table that is not his. It's a birthday party! Oh my god, how do you request a table for a large party of people? Give up table, what? It's his birthday, so... Well, all I really need is a cake to send to him. That's all I really need. Sorry, sweetheart. No. Yeah, this is why I'm going to... That's her twin sister over there. You may have noticed that Ray here is is an Ebby or like twins and they're kind of modeled after like other versions of me because I know eventually one day the main character is going to die. Try and order a cake. Let's let's see how this fucking goes. Order. Uh, 
Okay, order, please order a Oh, this is the, gonna be the worst birthday party ever. Okay, they really haven't worked out the whole design premise of a birthday party at all. So, we're going to organize one just at the house because at least that way I can actually. Like, look at my son, he's not even allowed in the restaurant. Like, Macca's got so fucking swanky that they don't even let kids in anymore. Fucking weirdos. Birthday party. Sim's birthday. Ignis's. The guests will be. Everyone that's in the green. And this time it's actually going to be at our house. So. Or we could have it back at the old house. You know what? We're gonna have the party back at the old house where my my adopted daughter lives because at least that way, you know, you guys get to see, I get to see what the fuck's going on there. We get to talk to her privately and that whole restaurant, being in a restaurant with, on a date or something is fine. It's just that when you're organizing a planned event or something like that, restaurants in this game don't seem to work. So if you're watching, just, you know, put that in mind. <laughs> like you're already in a group together. Like you invited all of these people. Like, the thing that I would put into it as an update is that you can request a table for a group of people, like, without having to add them to, like, a, a weird group. Like, I know there's a system where you could, like, oh, I'm going to add you to my group and let's go out as a group. You're already fucking out. Ugh. You know, like the weird system of had it, having another star above their head. You know, like you're out with these people. You can earn perk points that are used to buy. Mm hmm. It's just weird. Okay, so. First of all, my son needs to come inside because I think, what weather do they have? Okay, that's fine. Go inside and do something nice for them, will you? Well, I get birthday cake sorted out. The house doesn't seem to have changed pretty much at all. Chocolate cake. The house doesn't down here doesn't seem to have changed. Except for No, nothing's really changed. Oh. Half of mm, they're using our yeah, downstairs has changed. See, there's a lot more to do when you actually live in the fucking house. We used to live in this house. Yes, we did. Um, birthday boy can play a video game. All these people. Well, why the wife stands in the kitchen and cooks the food. I look beautiful. 
I love this dress, it's beautiful. There it is. Can you please? No. Why would you do that? No. Oh, that's. See? Twins. And if you've been watching the series as long enough, you'll know that. Okay, Pancake, this is your husband. Just so I think you already knew that though. Where is. Where's my stepdaughter? There she, there's my adopted daughter, there she is. Okay. I made the fucking birthday cake. Okay, yes, yeah, serve it here and. Okay, time to. Okay, while well, everything's getting ready, I'm going to have a conversation with my daughter about. I'm gonna hug her, show her that I love her, and ask her what the fuck she is thinking about getting a. a all about this. Like, I support you no matter what you do, I just don't. Talk to her. Yes, I just want to know what you're doing with your life. I have a feeling that her marriage is going to break apart. Some of these people I didn't even invite, they just came around. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement and middle life. Perfect time to start. Wrapping up those lifelong goals. Okay, everyone take a slice of the cake. Come on. Everyone have a piece of cake. It's the only time you're allowed a piece of cake in our household is birthday. Might sound bizarre, but that's, that's how we roll. Healthy. Besides, I used to be severely unhealthy, daughter. It took me a long time to get this, I'm like, this body that I do. Also, I noticed that you need to go to the fucking vet for one of your animals. Now, she doesn't eat human food, so... Deep personal conversation. Killing two birds. I really want to find out if she's actually going to... She's legitimately going to have an affair or not. Oh, cute. Can you two fuck off? I'm about to have a private conversation with my daughter. Shilo Panive Baima, Liz the Raggin, perhaps? Ah, well, Vina. The Fallen Narble. Vinvest? Ooh. Zen Sibi Kuni. Guarsa Kitara.
Merkel Vera, comma, Bobsini, Nabora, Shazel, Canathoy, Narble, Yamal, Milshaba, Gaba, Arwen, Subu, Wib, Femia, <laughs> Wibisu, Viva Zashel, Maparu, Chinosa, Lance of Sarde, Father Mavala, Ibiha Shanisi, Mastrima, Going to Adino, Ah, Sarefi Kazi. I get it, you want some attention. I'm trying to find out from your mama what's going on here, Auntie. No, that's not another version of me. That's Tiffy Wolf. That's Tiffy Wolf. Wait a minute. Did she age up? Hang on. We're just gonna check the family tree for a second. Did she fucking age up? Yeah, and I did see that in about 18 days my sim turns into an elder and her husband's gonna stay young. So... Yes, I don't know. If this game would let me... Thank you. So... Yeah, it's Tifa, Wolf, Matteo, Wolf. So this is my grandson that they adopted and then my granddaughter has grown up a lot. God, I haven't seen her in ages. Fuck, I need to, I need to come visit more. I'm sorry I haven't come to visit, and I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Yeah, that's their that's their adopted daughter right there. Oh wait, she's not adopt. She's actually not adopted. She was actually. The other one gave birth to it with a sperm donor. But Matteo, I don't think... I think Matteo... Yeah, I think they're both sperm donors. Children. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, sweetheart, you don't have to be in here to listen to this. It's nice to see you, you sweet girl. I'm going to be the fabulous old lady in the world. But when I age up, I'm going to have to change her outfit severely because it's not appropriate. <laughs> Maybe I could... Is there any way that I can revert her? Like, this is a series where I don't cheat, guys. So if there's any way that I can revert her back to... Like, wind the clock just a tiny bit so she can be with her husband a little bit longer, you know? Like, I don't even know if that's possible. Drink this to become a bigger you. Diet. Thank you. Is there a potion? Drink this, turn back the clock on your sim's current age. Can I actually get that from any other sim in the household? Because that would fucking help a shit ton with, you know... Because she's got... I know you have a lot of you guys... Because... He's got 94 days until he turns into an old man. And the possibility of her dying before him and leaving him alone with his, his only son and his stepson and his stepson's girlfriend to raise all by himself is just fucking terrifying. But I guess... 
I'm going to save here, guys, because, you know, this game has a possibility of crashing sometimes. But just to let... Just let me know, let me know guys in the comment section below or on Facebook or anywhere, just let me know what you think, like do you want me to turn the clock back without cheating because there's a potion for it, I just need to get enough fucking points for it and you know just you know keep this sim alive a lot longer because she's got 18 days. And in sim time, that's not a lot of time. And I know that being an elder, they'll last for quite a while, but the thing is, I'm really worried. I'm fucking really worried. How long does he have? He's got 20 days, so she'll turn into an elder before he turns into a teenager, which is fucking sad as all shit. And he's got 177 days because he's a vampire, so he'll be an... And she's got 82 days. So he... I might have him turn his future wife, like if the, if the relationship works out and they get married, like maybe after the wedding, he turns his wife into a vampire so they can be together a lot longer. But it's fucking sad. It's just horribly fucking sad because this whole series has been going on for so long. Like, I know it's a thing in The Sims, but I don't, I'm don't. i not ready for it yet. I'm not ready. I'm on the wrong fucking sim at the moment. Oh god, she's talking to a- she's goddamn talking to a granddaughter about possibility of divorce. The fuck is wrong with you? The fuck is wrong with my sim and she's telling her everything? Have you lost your fucking mind? I'll compliment her outfit. It's a very nice outfit. It might change though, you know, teenagers and all. Teenagers and all. Also, I love visiting. You are such a big girl now. She is. She looks amazing. Also, we had a birthday party and I was able to visit the family. Oh, so sweet. So, what I found out, guys, is definitely my daughter is not happy in her marriage, and something... they might end up getting a divorce. That is horrifying! But my character's not, not a stranger to divorce, to divorce. I mean, her first husband left her for a younger woman and then dropped dead of a heart attack, so... Karma! And now is, a do and now is calling her dolphin friends. We're not in the ocean! Congratulations on your recent birthday. That's the other thing. Like, if my character dies before him, he'll be left alone to do fucking everything. Like, yeah, he can get remarried, Ignis can get remarried and all this sort of stuff and live out his life, but will he? Like... Where's my grandson? I would love to fucking meet him before I drop dead. This is the weirdest situation. My grandson is talking to my son and probably becoming best friends. And where is her wife? Downstairs, working. Oh, at least my husband's trying to figure out what the fuck's... At least my son is downstairs trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. I almost said husband. My brain ain't working right today. <laughs> hey, Matteo, you have the cutest little haircut I've ever fucking seen. And no, I didn't choose his outfit. I might choose his older sister's outfit, though. Jesus Christ, she is thin. Does she have an eating disorder? Like, I don't, I don't judge if she does, but damn. It's 
pretty cool. Yeah, she's my daughter. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so, he's such a little darling. So, from the looks of things. What? What's with the foghorn? What's with the foghorn? Oh, it's the TV. Jesus Christ. My, I think, yeah, I think I figured it out that they're not adopted, they're sperm donors. So I think that biologically, I think biologically, they're both, they're both, I don't think biologically they're both her daughter, they her kids. Like, if you actually look in their eyes, they have their... They have the eyes of, oh, he doesn't have, he might actually be adopted, but I think she is, I think she's a sperm donor child because she has, she has Wolf's daughter's eyes and those, those are very particular vampire glowing pink eyes. She has Faith's eyes, so I think that's a sperm donor thing. And then they went with Maddie, I think they just went to adoption, so... Which is good. It's just I'm very angry that I haven't been a part of their lives that much because I've been focusing more on, well, my, really my own family. Which isn't bad, but you need to keep family close. You're a good boy. And Grandma loves you. That's so sweet. Can we turn this off? It's kind of in the fucking way. Oh, it looks like these two don't really like each other. Is it, is it because she's a vampire you don't like her? I mean, you're... F Future husband's gonna be a vampire. <laughs> yeah, you laugh it up. I'm not ready for you to drop dead yet. I hear there is a great party going down at the nightclub right now. Want to check it out? Not right now. I gotta get my family home, but. My family needs to get home, and there is one place that I do need to go check up on, see how things are going. Well, go ahead, you used to own this place. So just to let it clarify everybody that this house is actually owned by her adopted daughter, Daniela. So the deed is now in Daniela's name and this is now her house, so she can do whatever she wants with it. I actually wanted to see if upstairs is different. That looks different. She may have had like some two people sleeping here at some point. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back and decorate the place because this is definitely a room for a little girl, which she is not anymore. And he needs his own his own bedroom. Like it looks like somebody else was living here at some point. Like I don't mind it. I really don't mind. They even changed the sheets and everything. Same bed, but different sheets. And the walls are different. Oh, time moves on without you. Now I'm just gonna nap. So. Where else do I have to visit before, like, I'll, I'll go visit my, uh, my step, he's not really my stepson anymore because the marriage failed. 
Like, can you really have a rela can you really have a relationship with your stepchildren after the marriage is over? Because I've always wondered that: is it legally allowed? Is it okay? Why are you walking around in your fucking underpants in the middle of the night? Do you want to get fucking mugged? She t yeah, she's going to get changed when she's there, apparently. <laughs> but I guess it's a good signal, like, if you don't have your wallet, you can't get mugged. Unless you want to get root. Unless you want to get raw. <laughs> Also, if any of you are wondering what happened to Halo, um, basically there is a issue with Mixer right now where even when the game is properly, you know, working, the basically what ends up happening is Mixer crashes, the stream crashes, basically the stream crashes, and then the game crashes, and then Mixer doesn't save any of the footage. Like if I was like, I was playing with Nathan for a good long time and Mixer didn't save the footage. And we'll probably have to do the very first mission about, th the thing with Mixer is that it's a crappy website and I hate it because it just fucks up all the time. And it just, it just grinds my gears. It pisses me off. I hate it. Unless you have three, unless you were, unless you're a YouTuber that has a lot of fucking money, it's not going to work for you. Like for me, I don't have that much money. I'm not a billionaire. I don't shit gold. I don't, I don't fucking throw up diamonds. It won't work. It ain't gonna work. And I'm gonna sell this stuff because let's face it, we don't really need it. I don't really need all of it. I just wanted to show off what this DLC had to offer. Which we have, so it's good. And there we go. Just a little bit more money in the family's pocket, you know? Not much, but it's, it's something. Plus, these things lined up in a row is just bothering the fuck out of me. Okay, so... Your husband is an adult, you're an adult, you'll probably only be there for like... She's only going to be an adult for about 18 more days. So while you still have your sex drive, girl, go have sex. Because that, that shit goes. I know, because my mum insists on telling me about it. Come on. I walked here in my underpants. It's swimwear, but who gives a shit? You have a girlfriend. If she eventually dies, won't that mean... No, he actually is a vampire, so he can't live in this neighbourhood. Like, he will... Like, and she's getting older too. I don't even know how to check an animal's age status or anything like that. I, it just make me cry. I don't want to. Don't make me check. I don't want to know. At least I get to have my son on her for a little bit longer. Like, she had two biological children and now we're going to lose her. Tomorrow we're going to go see Sprudels' his character, Ig and he's left his homework on the fucking desk again. How awkward. Don't want to see anything that's going on in there right now, so please go do your fucking homework downstairs. Okay, that's a...
Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm sick and tired of you. <laughs> I do love his little outfit. Great woohoo. Great woohoo, good. Okay, so... You're a vampire, you'll need it, trust me. He'll need to feed soon, but we'll build up his energy first. Feel the love. I might turn his son into a warlock when he's a teenager. This place is in disarray. Feel the love. I got one skill. Knowledge is magic. Blender on crafting spears. Sim can now cast. Sims raids does. Ah, shit. This sim can now cast the. Seeing spell cast for change. I don't know what that means. I'm going to wait for that. Maui. Little Maui boy. Maybe if I feel the love enough. Ah. 
Earn silver on two dates with a spouse. Let's get on a date. I want it all. That's what's playing on the fucking TV right now. It's okay. Feel the love with Maui. Okay, so it's a thousand and five hundred points. That's what I need to collect to revert her age down. So that they're right around the same ages as each other. I'm not going to like revert them her back to like a fucking young adult or something like that. Ridiculous. No. I want to revert her back so they're basically around the same age. And that's basically it. And yeah, we'll have the date here. We don't really need to go anywhere. Besides... Okay, socialize. Socialize with your date, that's what I'm doing. The fuck, why isn't it working? Why isn't this working? Oh no, something was gonna be over, huh? Oh, you're putting it, oh. No, you're not dealing with it. Somebody else dealing with this. Swim. Go swimming. It makes it better, trust me. Go swimming!
We need at least a silver, so have both. Okay, at least we just need it to be silver. That's it. And then. Go on. Okay, you don't smell like a fish anymore. Oh, because baking is now a totally different skill. Take a personal day, please. I might end up having to reschedule this. Mainly because I also have to go cancel the fucking date. I take a personal day, I know. Brownies. Go to work, son. Okay, I went to go, I went to visit, I now need to go visit Sprudels and figure out and see how he's doing. I don't really need to, he's not really my child and he never really was, but I was a big part of his life and he does come around a lot. So, let's see how he's doing. And he's not at home at the moment and you can see that we asked him to look after the dog because we couldn't anymore because certain reasons I'll go alone it's fine he does it what I've noticed is that um, Sprudels' character in this series also doesn't really have a relationship with his biological mother, and he never really did. And that's why he came to live with me and my ex-husband in the series when, you know, the whole relationship of his dad and her broke apart. But he's long dead and not coming back into the series. She... His, his second 
I think, yeah, his third ex, his third wife, the woman he left me, my character for, yeah, she moved on with somebody else and got married and all this sort of stuff, and... Yeah, it was... It's actually pretty fucking poetic. Like, he leaves me for a younger woman. It's, it's just fucked up, really. It's just really fucked up. Like, so much has happened in this series, and... I'm actually kind of glad he died of a heart attack. Kind of fucking glad about it. And, um, yeah, we are now here. Remember, anybody remember Owl, the cat? He, um, he lives here now. Owl, the cat, actually lives here. And, um, yeah, he was a part of the series as well. This dog was Ignis's dog, so, you know... Hello, Owl. It's been a long time and you've got a new painted coat. I, I paint, I paint, I was the one who painted his coat, but yeah, it's been a long time. He is home, he's just outside. Oh, little babies. Hello. Probably under, severely underdressed for this. I can fix it, don't worry. It's okay, I'm not evil. Am I technically his grandmother? I don't know. Hello. You are just the sweetest little bubby. And I love, I love it. It's so cute. Hello. Nice to see you again. Guys, it's been so long. He must have another kid. He must have another child. Because there's two beds in there. It's been so long. How have you been? I'm not kidnapping a child and just... It's just been so long. It's been so long. Like, Mean Spurtles in this series haven't spoken in so fucking long. And then, he's married to Yang, yes, and I set that all up. Like, from a very young age, but... I haven't seen any of these guys in so long. Hi! I'm great at food. Cupcakes, not so much. Give a gift, um, toy. You used to look after the doggo. Can I use your bathroom, please? I'm about to pee myself. Sorry. Be right back. Mm. Okay, so I didn't flush. Nice bathroom, though. Oh. 
I probably can't stay for very long. But it's nice to know that everyone is happy and okay. I can babysit any time. Any time. Love Bubba's. So cute. So numb. Do they have a ch another child? Or, or are they just setting up for when he gets older? Like, I'll actually have to... I need to come back here and look at it before the episode's over. Big boy! Yeah! Whoop! Well, she did walk in when you were bathing her son. Would you like to me to read to you, little tiny Superman? Look at how cute that is. I've got a little blanket. Oh, this is so fucking adorable. I love it. Tiny little Superman. Like, I understand. Well, I understand that his grades are up. Good, that's good. A, f a wily fox. Well, I'm glad they're doing all right. That means I can go home, get some sleep, and know that nothing is wrong here. Like, they actually look legitimately happy, and I don't see any sign of divorce like my adopted daughter. Like, that is sad, but divorce does happen, and unfortunately it's not the first time it's happened in this series. Like, if you've been watching from the very beginning, I've got an entire playlist on my YouTube channel of all the episodes and if you want to go check those out to find out what's been going on, like my character that you see walking around, she was a lot, she was a lot bigger person, like weight wise she had a lot of weight on her and to symbolize the journey that I'm going through in real life I actually took some time to get her weight down, like a lot, so yeah, and I chose to get her weight down before she remarried, so, yeah. On Facebook there is, I think I put some pictures up, I, if I didn't, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm actually quite tired in real life right now, mainly because I haven't had any lunch and... Oh, yeah. I've just been really tired lately. So yeah, like, again, if you guys can work to getting the points and it's not a very big deal, it's just that time will move on. And uh, she is on 990 points and the points system she needs to get that fucking potion is uh, 1,500. Which means that she, all she has to do is go on two dates hopefully with her spouse and stuff like that. But before I end this episode I will... I am going to... I'm going to manage... I'm going to go into manage world. I'm going to save and go into manage world, like... 
for instance, a lot of messages I've gotten on Facebook from people who watch this series is that a lot of people want me to leave my son Larry and his future wife possibly into in this house along with the same thing I did with my adopted daughter like she lives in the old house of the original series and they live there together like my adopted daughter lives there with her wife and my adopted daughter might be bisexual. I don't have a problem with her being bisexual. I just have a problem with her with her having an affair. Like, if you're unhappy in your marriage, then talk to your spouse at least. I will find some common ground or even, like, get a divorce. Like, there's multiple things. Like, even the, the goths, like, I think, yeah, the goth father died and she remarried. And she's living with her new husband in the new house. It takes fucking forever to load, though. Waiting. Waiting. Waiting fucking forever. See, that's her new husband. And that's, like... That is Alexander Goth. That is her son. And... Honestly, it's sad that, see, the pancake, um, the pancake family is still there, like, the fan-made houses, like, I leave the fan-made houses alone to do their own thing, and I think the pancake girl, yeah, she moved into her own house and all of that sort of stuff, so it's fine, and as you can see, all the Ruby children have moved out and found their own way in the world. Also... I do find it very, very fucking sad that that my daughter's unhappy in the marriage and she's probably, in the next episode, she's probably going to be divorced and living in that house alone with those two kids. I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't think it's going to be a very good thing, let's put it that way. I just don't think it's going to be a very happy sort of thing that goes on, you know? <sighs> well, anyway, guys. Anyway, guys, while I'm while I'm working out the family's living situation and redecorating and all of that, I'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Love you and My dad is probably losing his mind now. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Love you. And hopefully you didn't hear anything in the background other than just me. Because that was very loud. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Love you. And bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye.